Welcome to Armchair Based Yoga, brought to you by Soup to Tomatoes here in Espanola. Welcome. And I'm Renee, a personal trainer and registered nurse, and I am a, a, a fond practicer of yoga as well as I'm certified levels one and two. So welcome. And we always begin with our feet. And just to make really sure we feel our feet today, let's lift our toes as we begin to inhale. You can just sit however it's comfortable. Just make sure the ankles are under the knees. And then exhale, heels up. Inhale, toes up. Exhale, heels up. Good. And this week, we uh, uh, it's all about stretching. So as you know, most of the poses in yoga are stretches. So this one's a little bit more, it could be a stretch. So if you really pull the toes up. <laughs> All right, one more time. Now press the feet into the earth and especially imagine pressing into your big toes to activate the bridge of the foot. So from there, we want to sit nice and tall on our sit bones. We want to get the shoulders back, the chest out, the chin in, and reach down with our fingertips as we turn our thumbs out a little bit, just to cause more engagement in the back muscles here. So from this position, with our face beginning to relax, we take a few deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Now during this breathing, we can choose to close our eyes or open them. Let's think about adding passion into our practice or into our lives. So let's set the intention to find our passions, our joys, what makes us happy. A few more deep breaths to contemplate the joy, inhaling and exhaling. Shoulders back, reaching down, inhaling, and exhaling. Let's do one more slower, deeper breath, putting all of our awareness in the spaces between the breath. So inhaling and noticing the space, exhaling and noticing the space. So from here, let's add a little flow to our yoga. Inhaling, reaching up. Beautiful. You can look up if you like, or just close your eyes and go through the motions of the mountain flow. So inhaling, reaching up. We can look straight ahead. And then exhale. Press the hands together actively. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, we reach up and lengthen through the fingers. Exhale, we return to our mountain, setting our shoulders, bringing our awareness to the palms. Let's repeat that just a few more times. Very good. Let's enjoy two more. Where is our awareness? Are we finding joy in this movement? How could we find joy in just this moment? One more deep breath, reaching up and then bringing the hands to the heart center. Good job. So, from here, we're going to add a little bit to our mountain pose, okay? So we're going to progress our mountain pose. So we're going to begin in mountain. So reaching up, reaching up, 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 and then do crescent moon over one side. Inhale up, reaching through the hands, exhale over. Inhale up, and then we release back down. So we can use our seat to make sure that we're sitting tall. We can keep the hands down if it's too uncomfortable, have them up. Exhale one side, inhale, reach, 
Exhale to the other side. Inhale, reach. And exhale, release. One more time. One more time. Notice the stretch. Feel it. Lengthen here. Reaching. Exhaling to the one side. Shoulders back. Chest open. Inhale and reach. Exhale to the other side. Inhale and reach. And release. So we're going to add one more move to this, the forward fold. So we're going to begin with our mountain, inhaling up into crescent moon first. So one side. Inhale, reach to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive down. All the way down. Release your head fully down. Inhale up to halfway or neutral. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive or press yourself up. Returning to mountain. Then we repeat again. You got to inhale, crescent moon. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive down. All the way down, releasing your head fully. Inhale up to a neutral spine. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up or press yourself up. You've got it. And we return to our mount. One more time when everybody's ready. Last time, let's really reach. Big deep breath. Exhale, gently to one side. Inhale, reach through the fingers. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive. We're going to hold this one. We're going to hold it three deep breaths. So I want you to hug your legs. Release your head completely down. Relax your head. Nod it from side to side. Two more deeper breaths. Deeper breath. Inhale up to a neutral spine. Shoulders back, chest out. Hold it here. Yeah, it could be here or here. And then exhale and reach up. That's right. Inhale, return to your neutral spine, but still bend forward. Exhale, reach up. Inhale, return. Exhale, reach up. And then one more time, one more time. Inhale, return, chin in, shoulders back. Exhale, up. Inhale, come back. Exhale, deeper forward fold. And then we reverse swan dive up. Very good. Yes. And return to our mountain pose. Very good. Going into camel's pose next, we must sit forward with our knees over our ankles, toes pointing forward. See the nice lines there? Shoulders back, chest out. We can actively press into the chair here and open the chest from there, squeezing our shoulder blades back. And if you like, you can gently look up, but you don't have to. You can keep the chin tucked in if you like. So from this position, we're going to inhale one arm up. And then exhale, return it to camel. Return it to chest opener. Inhale, reach up. You can look up if you like, but you don't have to. And then exhale, return. Deepen the chest expansion. Like really roll them back. So let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale to camel. Again, inhale, exhale to camel. Let's just hold it. Hold it. If you want to intertwine the hands to deepen it, fantastic. From here, you're going to gently take an ear to one shoulder. You're going to really reach back and open that chest a little further. Take another deep breath here. And then gently roll the chin towards the chest. See if you can keep that chest open, shoulders back, and then roll your chin or your ear towards the other shoulder. Roll the shoulders back and down. Good. And now we're going to come back up and then release. So good job, good job. Keep in mind when we're doing really deep stretches, we want to hold it three to six breaths. Three breaths is like 15 seconds. 
So six breaths, like 30 seconds. So we'll think about that as we progress here. So let's begin by finding our mountain once again. Finding a deeper breath, grounding ourselves in our feet, in our breath, in our sit bones. We're pulling the abdominals in a little bit, engaging the back muscles, relaxing the face. One more deep breath. Let's inhale and reach up. We're going to bring the hands and release them to the front thighs for our half moon series. Shoulders back, chest out. We're going to really press that hip forward and open the chest here, rolling the shoulders back. Exhale into cat, tilting the tailbone back and opening or pulling the abdominals in. Inhale back to sphinx. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, press yourself up with tight, tight elbows. Perfect. Back to chest out. Exhale, cat. Inhale, sphinx. Exhale, chest down, elbows tight. Inhale, press yourself up, neutral spine. One more time, nice and slow, go with your own breath. Explore the cat. Explore sphinx. See where you feel the stretch. Yeah, exhale, chest down. This actually lower back. I love this one. And then pressing up gently. So anytime we're bent forward, use that technique of pressing up to keep the neutral spine to come up. It's always available to you. So we usually start, I want to do a warrior two series. So it's easier to start with wide legs. If we choose, we could stay here. Or we can extend one leg so that the bent leg becomes our lead leg. So I'm really stretching out through that toe, but I have to sit at the edge of my chair. So if it's more comfortable here, just pick a leg and then that's your lead leg. Perfectly fantastic, okay? You'll see. Reach out, shoulders back, chest out, big deep breath here. Warrior two. So from here, we're going to take a big inhale and reach forward towards the leg that we're going and place our elbow on the knee. We're going to reach this arm up. Very good. Exhale, release the arm down. We're going to windmill that arm. So inhaling, reaching up. Roll the shoulder back. Exhale, windmill the arm. Six repetitions today, but we're already at three. Inhale and reach. Exhale, stretch through the fingers to feel all the muscles of your back stretch. Feel that? Inhale and reach. Exhale, roll, reach. Good job. One more, one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach. Bring the hand behind you. And try to reach the thigh that's down here. Open the rib cage down. If you can stretch that bottom arm down, go right ahead or just rest here, rolling the shoulder back. Two more deep breaths. One more. Just try to relax, noticing where it's tight. And if you want, you can look forward. Good. Inhale and reach. Exhale, let's swing ourselves back to our warrior two. Now for a reverse warrior, we put our hand down on the back leg and inhale and reach up. So you're sliding down this leg. So even if you were here, right, it'd be fine. Take a deep breath. See if you can reach a little higher. Good. And then release. So let's bring him back to center. Remember which leg was extended because we'll have to do it again, but we're doing the half series first. So heel, toe, heel, toe, back to neutral. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow or sphinx. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, press up in a neutral spine. Good. And repeat twice more. Exhale, roll the tailbone back. Relax the head fully. Inhale, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale, chest down. And then return. Good. One more time. One more time. Feeling each one. 
Doesn't that feel beautiful? And then up. Very good. Then we go back to wide pose. So we go back, heel, toe, heel, toe. So we're in that comfortable position, knee over ankle. And if you choose to advance the position, you could stretch the other leg fully out, but plant it. Reaching both arms out. This is now my lead leg, so I'm reaching over. Hands are stretched out, shoulders are back. Next inhale, we reach forward. Exhale, release the hand down and bring the other one up. Take a deep breath to reach up and then exhale, windmill the arms. So it's a back stretch, it's a back stretch. Inhaling, reaching up and exhaling, windmill, windmill. Feel it, it's beautiful. Inhale and reach, beautiful. Exhale. Enjoying three more. Everybody's alignment looks really, really good. The knees look over the ankles. Really nice form. Reach and down. One more. One more to stretch all those beautiful muscles. That's right. And you choose where you want to keep your gaze. If you want to keep it forward, that's fine. Reach up, 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 and then bring the hand behind your back. Trying to get the elbow tight to the rib cage and even stretching down to that, that lower thigh. Roll the shoulder back. Big deep breath here. If you want to extend the free arm down, you could choose to do so. Really roll the shoulder back. One more deep breath. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, return to warrior two. Take a deep breath here. Exhale the hand on the free leg and inhale up, reverse warrior. Take a big deep breath here. See if you can reach up and down a little further. One more. And then come back. And then we release the legs, bringing them back. Very good, very good. Actually, let's leave them a little bit wide, and we'll do a nice wide pose going into a stretch. So from here, we're going to do moon pose. So moon pose, I like to start at the top here and bring the elbows down, and then press the palms back. Good. Big deep breath here. Pull the abdominals in. Squeeze your bum a little. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, return to the shoulders back, chest out, moon. Good. Reaching up. Big deep breath. Exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Beautiful. Inhale and reach. Exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Beautiful. Pull the abdominals in with you. Two more. You do not have to look up if you don't want to, right? You know you can just look forward. Enjoy your practice. Do the moves like the ones you can feel good about, the ones that feel good in your body. Good. Now we're going to scoop the sky. So big scoop. Exhale. See if you can go between the legs. You do not have to touch the ground. You go wherever your neutral spine will let you. So inhaling, scooping up the sky. Exhaling, neutral spine coming down, scooping the earth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. This one's called sunflower. One more time. And then we're going to stay down. We're going to stay down. So one option is to stay on the inside of the thighs. But I would like you to start to grab around the legs. And relax your head in between the legs. And just notice what muscles are tight here. Relax your head, your shoulders. Even roll the shoulders a little bit. And if you can grasp around your legs and towards the feet, you'll feel a deeper inner thigh stretch. One more deep breath. And then placing your hands on your thighs, you're going to press yourself up, pressing your chest up slowly. Yes. So that way your body has a chance to reclimatize to being bent over. So let's bring the feet in. So two options here. We're going to bring them all the way in and we'll start with the legs. Okay. So we can go, let's do left leg on top. So we can just be here 
or if you can begin to wrap your leg around the other, great, but this or this is also good. All right, so any of these. So left arm becomes the bottom arm. You got it, right arm goes inside. And then you begin to intertwine those, if you can. You don't have to. Lift the elbows gently, and gently bring them down with the shoulder blades. And then hold it for three more deep breaths. And just begin to notice as you tighten the braiding, the intertwining, if there's anything that happens in the body. It's beautiful. Bigger, deeper breath, one more. Pull the shoulder blades down. Beautiful. Now release the arms, release the legs, and shake them out. So for the legs, it's a bit of an IT band stretch. For the arms, it's back and shoulders. So let's do the other side. So you can stay here, you can go here, or you can wrap it all the way around. Your choice. Right hand is your bottom hand. Left hand goes on top. Wherever that is. Now, if it's already a tight squeeze, you know, you can just hold on to this as long as you're feeling it in the right spots, right? Oh, everybody's doing great. Lift the elbows gently and then gently persuade them down with your shoulder blades. Imagine the chest still sticking out. Three more deep breaths here. One more. Good job with your eagle. Beautiful eagles. And then release them. Very good progress on that one, especially when it comes to the shoulders. So hamstring, right? Before we do final relaxation, we're going to do a 30-second hamstring stretch. So it's static because we're not going to move really a whole lot. Soften the knee if you need to. This knee goes over this angle, but the foot must be flexed if possible. Shoulders back, chest out, press the chest forward till you begin to feel the stretch. Now we're going to hold this for six slow, deep breaths. So begin to allow your head and arms to relax down. Take deeper and slower breaths, trying to breathe into where it's tight. We only have ten more seconds left to enjoy it. So see if you can take a deeper breath, wiggle around, maybe find more space. And then we'll walk it gently up. Very good. So that was a quick 30 seconds, right? That doesn't take too long anymore. But before, when we first started, it was a long wait. That 30 seconds seemed like forever. So soften the knee, flex the foot, big deep breath, press the chest forward. Notice where your stretch is and make sure it's in the calf or the hamstring. If it's concentrated to the knee, soften the knee. Relax the head and the hands down to wherever they're comfortable to go. Now, focus on where it's tight in the body and breathe into there trying to soften it. Five more seconds. And then when you're ready, Gently walk it back up. Very good. Doesn't the 30 seconds go by so quickly, right? And that's been practice. It's practice that does that. So let's take a little drink. And I told you all, uh, this the, today's meditation is going to be about finding passion, right? Finding the things we love to do. Sometimes we forget what those are. So let's take a moment to just roll our shoulders back and sit comfortably and relax the hands. So if the hands are supported on the legs, sometimes that can be more comfortable. But find where your hands are comfortable. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. And let's take a moment. To begin to let our bodies relax with every deep breath. So feeling a sense of relaxation come into our feet and legs. 
into our torso, into our shoulders, hands. But as we begin to feel our bodies resting upon these chairs, let's imagine ourselves somewhere, somewhere with joy, somewhere passionate, somewhere exciting. And let's try to imagine the last time we were really enthusiastic about something, about someone perhaps, about anything at all, excitement. Now, even if nothing is coming up right now in this moment, let's set the intention right now to find joy, to notice passion and excitement and enthusiasm in our lives. Let's take a few deep breaths to sink that in. Inhaling, finding passion. Inhaling a sense of excitement about life. And recently, the Buddha had a talk about contentment, as contentment is a very strong um, ethic in yoga to be content. But there's more to life than contentment. There's exciting things. There's joy. There's laughter. There's silliness. And just saying those words, I feel my face smiling. So let's take that in. Let's take a few deep breaths and notice in our bodies where we would keep joy, where we put it, would we put it in our hands, in our hearts, in our minds. Maybe we could put it everywhere, in our feet, we could put joy in our backs, in our hearts. Let's store it into our bodies so it will be available when we need it. Now let's take a few more deep breaths. Inhaling joy and passion and enthusiasm right down into our toes. And feeling that sense of excitement rise up from our, our grounded feet, through our legs, into our hips, shoulders, arms, hands, faces and especially our minds. Thank you so much for practicing yoga with me today. I am always so grateful for your yoga practice, and thank you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. May it be filled with passion and, and joy. All right, have a great day. Mm -hmm.